Hey everybody, my name is Daniel Hilty, and I'm really excited about this week's episode of 3-Minute Methodist History because we get to hear from one of my favorite human beings on earth, a dear friend, Reverend Dr. Anthony Witherspoon, as he tells us a little bit about the history of the African Methodist Episcopal Zion Church, also known as the Freedom Church. Witherspoon, Dr. Witherspoon, good morning. It's good to have you with us. Good morning. I'm happy to be with you. I pray all is well on your end. <laughs> it, we are doing fine. Thank you. Thank you. I was wondering if, if you wouldn't mind maybe just just um, talking a little bit, please, about how, how did the AME Zion Church um, get started? We, we, were, we worshiped at uh, John Street Methodist Church in New York uh, for a while. Uh, of course, that was a mixed congregation. Uh, we we enjoyed being there uh, until it came to the point where uh, doing communion we were we were unable to take communion with our uh, white brothers and sisters often mm -hmm. uh, and our ministers who uh, desired to preach were un unable to preach in the pulpit uh, we had to preach behind tables and so forth or outside mm -hmm. so about 1793. Uh, the, the, uh, our people said uh, we need to look at being on our own. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not going to leave the Methodist Church because we like the umbrella of Methodism and, and for ordinational purposes as well uh, with that structure. So uh, in 1796, that was the, the camel breaking the back, uh, the, straw, the straw that broke the camel's back rather, and we ventured out on our own. Uh, and as a result of that, uh, we have been known as the Freedom Church because not only did we branch out on our own, we were the second Black Methodist Church behind the AMEs, but we 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 had people who were part of our church, such as Harriet Tubman and Sojourner Truth, who were both freedom fighters and so forth for justice sake. Wow. Uh, and they have also bequeathed their properties to us that we still own today. Uh, and as a result, we started in New York City and we branched out uh, through uh, Philadelphia and the Baltimore, uh, down, down south through the Carolinas, and uh, then went west to uh, all the way to as far as California. Uh, and we have churches also throughout the world uh, in uh, England and uh, the Caribbean and Africa. Uh, we have uh, thousands of congregations in Africa, especially, uh, but we have, we have done our uh, due diligence or tried to anyway, to embrace uh, equality uh, while also stemming out, branching out to, to spread the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. So that's how we have, uh, uh, that's how we got our start. And we really, truly uh, try to uphold the Freedom Church model uh, uh, realizing that uh, one need not be the same hue as us, uh, as long as we can join together for the for the for the sake of kingdom building. Oh, that's great! That's great. What do you What do you love appreciate most about being in the AME Zion Church today? Yeah, I like the sense of order that it brings to uh, a disciplined life, a daily a daily discipline disciplined life that uh, that is. Uh, not carefree, but that is very intentional about uh, striving to be better today than I was yesterday. Uh, taking care of the needs of people, the social justice piece uh, and uh, social services piece, uh, making sure that all that we do even today reflects what our foreparents wanted. So I love the fact that we still have that principle in, in place uh, to do due diligence uh, in, the in, the, in the people's lives for the sake of kingdom building. Thank you so much. And I appreciate you and the Amy Zion Church and love you and, and love Washington Metropolitan. And Well, you know, we love you too. You, you're, you're first class all the way, brother. You're too kind. It's, it's all mutual. It's all mutual. Thank you. <laughs> yes, Thank indeed. you. Yes, indeed. Um, Thank you so much for watching Campbell TV. Please check the rest of our channel for other videos on how to connect with God, love others, and grow in faith.
Plus, if you like this video, please consider supporting Campbell by setting up a recurring gift on our website or by clicking on the link below. Until next time, remember that God loves you, Christ loves you, and Campbell does too.